if you want to learn technical analysis in crypto, in stocks, or anything else, use the simplest system possible. Support, resistance, trend lines, and volume. And MA50, MA200. That's it. Nothing more. One amazing example, Bluezell, ticker BLZ, crypto asset that is on an uptrend on the daily chart. Very simple. Since October of 2023, and even before that, the coin is on an uptrend, a slow uptrend. It's not a huge parabolic move, but it's steadily up. You see here, it touched almost the trend line. Here, it touched almost the trend line two times. And here, it went over a little bit. And here, it broke. This is a fake out. It tried to go lower, but it bounced back. And then, right now, moving away from the trend line with a very green candle while Bitcoin is moving upward. So why is this important? First of all, in crypto and stocks, it's the same thing. Momentum is very, very important. So the MA50 is going up to the right. The MA200 is going up to the right. MA50 reacts very quickly to prices. MA200 a lot less. Once the ME200 starts to go up and it's established a trend like this, it usually pushes the price of the stock or the coin for a long period of time. It's going to take a lot of selling to change the last 200 days of trading of that asset. ME50 is going to give you a signal faster, but ME200 is going to be tricky to change its course. It's going to require a lot of days, red days, to make it turn. In the meantime, you follow the trend. That's pretty much it. And if both the MA50 and the MA200 are parallel to each other up to the right, as long as they are parallel and they're going like that, you just let your asset go. Easy. That's what you see here. And many times here, the MA50 was used as a support or a trigger to move higher. Here we went slightly parabolic, then we corrected, found support on the trend line, then follow the trend line, move away from the trend line. Consolidated, touched it. Here we broke the MA50, but we still had the trend line here of the asset and the momentum of the asset. That's why we bounce, consolidated, and move upwards. The same thing, then we moved it away from MA50, then touch it back. This slowed down the down side of the asset bounce again here a lot of people got trapped i guess they sold thinking that they would the the price would go down but we had the support of the ma 200 here below and we had an even number here of 30 cents so people used that as support and got back in the trend line and as you see, the MA50 barely moved and continued its uptrend. And now we're establishing a new bounce that probably will get us to 50 cents or 55 cents, potentially. So Bluezell is going up steadily. For people who don't like volatility or less volatility, this is a perfect asset. Now on the weekly, well, we see pretty much the same thing. The trend is your friend. From 5 cents, we started this movement upward from five cents up to now which is 40 cents the trend line has been up with consolidation periods but we follow this trend line except for wicks and you have to be careful with those because you can get trapped to sell your assets on your way up and it's going to block you from getting the gains at the top so as long as the trend is intact you hold your asset. Once it turns, then you need to look at the following support. If the following support holds and it turns back up, then the trend continues. But if the, sec the next support breaks, then most probably we are starting a new trend line down. That's when you take profits or get rid of your asset. And then if a down structure established with the MA200, the coin will go down quite a bit until a big change again and we continue upwards potentially. So this is what you need to see. You see here the MA50 on the weekly is following the price action 
does not seem to be breaking or flattening out. So the trend is your friend. You continue holding your asset. Many people sell their things way too early and sometimes sell way too late because they don't know about this trend lines, support, resistance, and the MA50, MA200 that gives you a lot of information. The volume also helps. So volume, when is volume critical? Volume is critical to change the momentum of your asset. Look at this. We were going down here on a consolidation period. This huge volume allowed the initiation of the whole breakout. After that, we have had diminishing volume. Has that impeded the uptrend? No. But what was required to change the whole course is this. So if you see high volume here on the other way, then you know. There's a lot of sellers here, it's going to take a while and it's probably going to correct. That's when you have to take decisions. Before that, you follow your trend, you maximize your gains, and you keep on going. I hope you learned something. Keep the TA simple. If it gets too complicated, you're going to doubt yourself, you're going to hesitate, you're going to look for this and that indicator and this and that. No, keep it simple and you'll be successful. Practice, 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 and you'll get used to it. Ciao.